Hello again, I am Blonty, and check this out. It's called the Switch Case, and this is actually a handmade sample, so it's not quite representative of what will be the final product. But it's awesome, and it makes a huge difference to the comfort factor in playing the Nintendo Switch handheld, especially if you've got big hands like my idiot cartoon man paws. As I record this, there's just a few days left on the Kickstarter, but it's already at about 690% funded, so no worries there. It should happen. The concept is simple. A couple of lobes at the back of the controls to improve the grip surface area and the way it sits in your palms. Now, we've seen this before quite a few times. I've reviewed a few different plastic and silicon cases that slip over the Joy-Cons only. The difference here is that the lobes clip into a unified cover for the entire Switch and it will be made just thin enough to be able to slide into the dock without removing it. So that's convenient, except my sample doesn't. Perhaps the sample was made a bit too thick, perhaps my dock is a bit too tight, giggity, or both. But they claim it'll be made to fit real nice. Fingers crossed on that, I suppose. Another nifty gimmick is being able to swap out the lobes for different sizes. One smaller with a smooth, rounded shape, one larger with a trigger-shaped protrusion. Which one you like best will be a personal thing, I expect, but I like the bigger one. The main body is a thermoplastic polyurethane, which should be quite hard wearing, and it makes it very easy to slip on and remove. And though my initial concern would be it'd slip off just as easily, in use, it's actually really quite secure. Also surprising is that while it does completely encase the shoulder and trigger buttons, it doesn't really hinder the feel of using them to any detrimental effect at all. They still feel great. Careful attention to the moulding means there's a perfect amount of give behind the buttons. The semi-rigid carry case is also custom to accommodate not just the extra depth of the grips, but also carry the spare grips and a pile of games and earphones and USB cables and all that kind of stuff. All in all, it's a very thoughtfully designed product and well worth taking a good look at if you're a Switch owner. They plan to be shipping by the end of October, but as with all things Kickstarter, believe that when you see it, don't be horrified if that slips around a little bit. And I'll tell you right now, personally, I will be seeking out one of the final retail units come the end of the year. I don't play handheld nearly as often as I do docked, but when I do play handheld, this really does make a delightful difference to the comfort. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time.